with me a little bit about some of the increasing demands on speed and performance that, that are associated with these products? Yeah, so I'll describe it a couple different ways, but at the highest level, the IX industrial is 10, 10 gig. So it's 10 gig to 100 meters, which is crazy. And so you want to think of that as 10 G base T, but that 10 gig performance to 100 meters now means that you can go faster, you know, higher speeds. And if you want to think of it in terms of category, it's full category 6A performance. Right. You mentioned something about uh, the, the ruggedness and, and connectedness of, of being hardwired uh, in. Um, we want to be able to make connections that can't be broken. I think there's been several uh, improvements made in this category as well with keying and, and connection and, and making those secure and robust. Can you address some of the mechanical uh, issues that, that really uh, help this category of products? Yeah, there's a couple of things going on there. So when you think about mod jacks, uh, the number one uh, failure for a lot of applications in an industrial automation is breakage and with the category jack breaking either it's just not robust right it's a great solution but wasn't necessarily optimized for industrial applications so when you think about the latch on a mod jack you can snag it and break it the whole jack as it is in general can just be broken so with the ix industrial we make it uh, rugged so that there's not any sort of snagging uh, with the latch uh, but also, it comes in a couple of different ratings, and we call them IP ratings, which is ingress protection. So the IP20, which is really touchproof, think about control cabinets, okay? That's really where you want to think about where that could be used. Maybe um, automation uh, and also robotics. That's where this is really going to play well. And then you have IP67 variants, and that's really where you get to dust and moisture compliance. And so making that a standard available for multiple suppliers and then doing so that optimizes it for uh, industrial uh, automation applications is a really big advantage versus the legacy connector, which is great, but just wasn't optimized for the industrial automation applications. So I'm a designer, let's say, and I want to address my industry, my factory, and change it and upgrade it and bring these things forward. But hey, I got to do a lot of design changes. I specifically got to change this connector. But I think behind the scenes, there's some advantages in doing so related to parts and technologies that are already in place. Could you share that with me? Yeah, I think one of the really exciting things, and it kind of makes this uh, not as uh, harrowing a task as, as you may think, is that IX actually uses the exact same silicon and magnetics as a traditional modular jack. So while you still need to spin a new board to fit the footprint of IX Industrial versus a mod jack, you're going to specify and utilize the same silicon and magnetics that you would do for today's uh, category jacks. So you're saying a lot of the solutions that I employ outside of this specific jack, I can just bring those forward and, and advance that width, and I don't have to do too much change to that. That's correct. And you'll pick up speed, you'll pick up density, you'll pick up ruggedness, you'll pick up all these other benefits for doing that.